Click the link in the description to become a Bob today. Get access to the Jungle tier list, exclusive Discord AMA channel, and an OP.GG review, and much more. Alrighty, welcome back to the jungle. You'll be playing Lilia versus Viego. Pretty easy matchup if you play for the tempo and don't make mistakes. Now, if you make one mistake or a handful of them, a handful of them, and then die to Viego, enjoy, enjoy permanent purgatory. We'll be starting the Raptors here. For the runes, we got Conqueror, Triumph, um, Legend Haste, and then Cut Down. This is still the rune page to go on Lilia, in my opinion. They recently nerfed some of her damage to the camps, which is fine. So they nerfed some of her healing and then some of her damage to the camps. And it's like, that's not going to affect low elo. It's not going to be why you're losing on Velvet, or on, on Lilia, Bob. Let's go ahead and Q Smite, W. So as Lilia, you want to play for your farm and by starting the Raptors, it's exactly what we're doing. Raptors into the Krug, skipping the red buff will make them respawn sooner so that we can do them again. Lilia's early levels are nothing special. Level 5 is when the game really starts for you. And doing a path like this, farm maxing will make it so that we get there even faster. All the meanwhile, there's no responsibility for you to quote gank the lanes. Lilia farms and then builds up this movement speed with her passive. So you have that extra movement speed, but it's only utilized reactively. Once things are happening in the lane, then you can go to it. But if you go to it preemptively, as I'm sure you've tried out, it just doesn't pan out. You walk into the enemy and they walk away. You have no passive, it doesn't work. But when the enemy starts to play, they'll be committed. And you'll have the movement speed to move. And in the meanwhile, if nothing's happening, you're farming your camps and that's good. Yeah, <laughs> that's always good. Oh, smite. Okay, well, farming your camps with varying levels of skill. Q. All right, just like this, Bob. Senna's super low and has no barrier. Senna, I love you. There's her flash, too. Well, no dice this time. They've walked away. That was worth a shot, though. We got the Senna's flash. And now going back to my camps. Diego will have a advantage to some degree, but it's going to be up to him to spend it. There's that ward. Well. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I don't kill Senna. Come on, now. Come on, now. I'm just going to be a loser on my blue Grom. I might not even get a scuttle crab. I'll be starving. Hopefully, Viego path topside. As you're clearing the camps, it's mostly the autos in the queue that gives you your damage. <laughs> Make sure that you're getting more autos off. And then, honestly, Lilia clears pretty healthy too, so... You can just stand here and hit it. Nice. Yon's not dying. Let's see, Viego 28 CS exiting left side. He wants my Raptors. No can do, sir. Those are mine. Those are mine. Get out of there. I have Smite too, so I should have a good chance. He's not here? Huh. Well, that's weird. Take my Raptors. I won't have Scuttle Crab, but it doesn't really... It'll be fine. We won't have as much XP as we could have, but this is good. Cute. Another thing you're trying to hit before your first reset is going to be Faded Ashes. So Faded Ashes cost us 900 gold. And if you don't get that before you recall or have happened to die on Lilia, then you're having a bad time. Phew. We can try for something top lane here. We have the movement speed. We're on an overstay, but Udyr is kind of taking the trade in. Place a ward down, and now QE. No, I missed. Get back here, you big dumb bastard. Q, auto, W, auto. Man, if I hit that, I'm in business. Let's get out of here. Go ahead and get like right here. If Udyr wants to stop my recall here, then I can land the E. I'm not overstaying for the kill. It's not like that. Faded Ashes, and that's it. That's all I can afford. Building towards Leandri's first, which gives us both damage, tankiness, and a burn. So the Faded Ashes gives us 30 ability power and extra burn to the camps themselves. That really speeds things up for us. Speed's very important on Lilia. The sooner you're done with the camps, then the sooner you can be in position for the plays. And then the sooner the camps respawn, the sooner you can do them again, and again, and again, and again, and again. Because it never stops on Lilia. You never stop farming. 
It just gets faster and faster. Nice. Well, at least they traded one for one top lane. You would hope that my damage that I dealt contributed towards that. So after the camps are done here on turn two, we want to start looking around for those objectives. Let's see what we can do. Oh. Diego's pretty low, so there's no way that that guy can do Void Grubs. Here's what we'll do. E the minions. Get some movement speed. Deal some damage here. Yeah, stun onto Karma. QW is fine, is fine, is fine, is fine. Q. Okay, the Viego has no E. Check it out. Q. Damn it! We're both cowards. What can I say? Give me those berries. Better go find Viego. I'm gonna beat him up. Not on Gromp? Okay, then he's on Wolves. E, Q, W. I missed like everything. We have to flash his W. Oh! Oh my god. Missed like everything, man. The E? The, the Q, you want to land that outer part? A swing and a miss. To the top side. Listen, when you ant like a total idiot in the enemy jungle, begrudgingly, because you have a massive HP advantage, it's time to full clear. Bomb bot lane, win. Someone's gonna have to carry me. <laughs> Dying like that though, it's not the end of the game. Because we had farmed our camps into the play, we deal some damage, we get some motion, not that bad. Not good. You know what's worse? Doing nothing. Hanging out. I think I'll just play safe and uh... Maybe I'll order an impossible Whopper today. Yeah, I think I'll just eat two impossible Whoppers. Yeah, that will be, that will be my meals for the day. These guys are staying, so it's now or never. They're, they have to crash this wave, so let's get down there. Maintain the passive with that Q. And we are in business. E. Close. W. Q. Did I hit no one again? Bro. Q. <laughs> uh, auto attack. Yeah, Karma gets both kills. I don't even have Bonner to Q again. This is the most awkward game of Lily I've ever played. From my own mechanics. But at least, at the very least, I'm letting it rip, you know? I'm attacking them. Q. Alrighty, let's clean up our camps here. It's up to Mr. Viego to do the objectives in the meantime. I've spent my tempo and my time on that. And until my camps are dead, I really don't want to move to another play. We're definitely, definitely not looking for the dragon after something like that. You need like bot lane prio. You need a lot of things to line up to do that dragon. And the dragon's just not that important. That's what they don't tell you. Not for Lilia. Baby burn. Yeah. Yeah, kick their ass. So now we can do the dragon. Go ahead and queue it. We killed their support, so inevitably my bottling will have Pryo against a Cassante. And then if anyone hits this bad boy, we kill it so much faster. But if you ever solo a dragon with your camps up, you deserve to lose on Lilia. W, smite, reset. I have Leandri's Thormint. The Spite. A very good and honest play into the top lane. Alrighty, to my Krug. Viego with Kraken Slayer. So we're even in items. Despite him having two kills, we are even on items. Oh, I'm ahead on XP, huh? Take this. 
Put him to sleep. I'm gonna take Blast Gun, maybe. Nice. W. Auto. Q. <laughs> nice. I went to sleep just in time. Right before mom showed up. Put my head under the cover. She didn't know the difference. Looks like he took my Krugs, but that's fine. 30 seconds to the Void Grub, so I'll continue to play on the top side. Now it's time to play for the objectives. We're on our item spike. I did just solo ulti and Udir, but yeah. It is time to fight for the Void Grubs regardless. Hi, Viego. Control Ward. E. Do a little back and forth here. Yeah, my Yon has Pryo. You're mad. Q. Auto. Miss me. Q. <laughs> They're getting poked out. My Leandri's burn. Oh, you're just leaving? Viego, come back. Come on, let's have an honest fight. Aw, oh, man. He knew I was going to beat him up. So because I just land a couple abilities, the E and the Q, that's enough to, like, like put him to, like, 60% HP. And then he just has to back off. He can't go back in. Not with Yon behind me. So we play it pretty lax, not just running into them. Lilia, you have to start a fight. You get this movement speed. You go in and out, in and out. Not like that, Bob. But anyways, any blue side camps? No gromp. I'm out of here. To the bot side. Let's get our bot side camps. No. Well, you've made me overstay, so now there's top side scuttle. I think reset and full clear. With Viego, there's no objectives now, and we'll end our clear on the bot side, and we'll be in a good spot. Super important to get these Merc Treads uh, pretty soon. Udir, Zerath, even Cassante deal some magic damage. And then one of Lilia's one weaknesses is her magic resist. But they have a lot of auto attacks. I know, but we're not going to get auto attack. Not us. We have too much movement speed. Let's clean up these camps. So now we have more movement speed, some magic resist, and some tenacity. So it's going to be so hard to pin us down and actually hit us. Phew. I want to rinse like all my camps. All my camps into a play, and then Dragon will be up later. Way later. Even if the camp resets like that, because you have that burn going, it's like always worth. Uh huh. No wolves? Ridiculous. No gromp? I'm gonna have to kick this bot lane's ass. Go ham. E. Nice. Miss me. Bro, if you can't solo the Senna, then we got a problem. Auto. W. Auto. Q. Landing abilities is optional, and that's the thing. Miss me. Q. You don't want to ulti Cassante because he has that unstoppable. But we got the job done. If this ugly fat bastard that misses skill shots can get wins, then so can you. Any more red side camps in here? I'm starving. Nice. What's pretty beast about this build is that you get your ability haste from the basic ability, so more Q from the legend haste. You don't have to build any in the early game. So we spend all of our gold on AP and HP. That's pretty crazy because then we're just tanky enough and deal damage and have DPS. Dragon's coming up soon, so I'll do my blue side camps until then. But we're level 11. We got that farm lead. And it's all going to get faster from here. Dropping Rift Herald top. We do not care. Fight. You guys are fighting? You don't have mana. Let's do this shit. Q. Ulti. Auto. Q. Eventually, Sinna is dead. Q. W. Noish. Just pumping the Qs, Bob. Oh, I can land an E right here. Take this. 
Never mind. Remember that part with like farming the camps and you have our passive? We're farming our camps and then that bot play happens. If I was to just walk from Raptors to the enemy bot lane, there's like no way. Keep that one in mind, man. It's so easy on Lilia. Reactively gank. Who would have thought? And the enemy's kind of shitting on the map here. Somehow getting these top turrets. And eventually going to get this bot turret. But I got a reset. Haunting guys. Fiendish Codex. Control Ward. Going for Riftmaker second. They have a lot of bruisers. A lot of tanky guys. We want to be able to match them. Riftmaker will help us do so. Zonias would be super shit. I know Zonias is super popular as a second item. Um, in this case, there's no burst on their team, so it doesn't help us there. Delays other items, doesn't help us there. No HP. It looks stupid. I don't even know who Zonia is. Throw the bot side here. We don't have Bolti, but we're good. Q, auto, E. And then Q. Is fine, is fine. You auto W. <laughs> Just solo the Senna in the meantime. The champion that can actually die. <laughs> Another Q to the face. You like that, Cassante, huh? Yeah, you've never seen damage like that, have you? Cassante just doesn't take damage from like AD champions in the early game. It's like we shit on him. The stupid Iceborne Gauntlet. Nice! Wins 1v2ing. Nice. We are in business. Alright, let's clean up these camps and try to take that bot turret. Their Cassante ADC doesn't have TP. We're good. Damn, someone took your minion wave. What happened? Let's reset, actually. We have so much gold. So Riftmaker gives us HP, Ability Haste, and AP. And then the real deal is the passive, the Void Corruption. What am I building? Some Magic Resist. Bing, bang. And then we'll clear up towards the Baron. The real thing is the passive. Void Corruption gives us 10% Omni Vamp and 10% bonus damage. Stacking up as we fight. So that basically doubles the Conqueror healing. We heal off our Q, Conqueror, everyone we damage, and that 10% Omni Band. So it's quite a bit, quite a bit of effective HP. And one thing about Lily is that she's an AOE champion. So as you're hitting more people, you're getting more value out of all of that. Not only on the damage, but also the survivability part. So now as we're in the mid game here, we're super juiced. We clear the camps so fast. And then we can do more fights because our ulti's on a lower cooldown as well. And with all these items too, we're just simply stronger. We want to clear our camps as fast as possible, get in position, and then do the play. And then reset, clear our camps, and do it again, and do it again. And that's it. League of Legends is a hard game. Oh, macro is so hard. I actually had to study years. Study years of macro. Camps are done. Let's go fight. How dare you noobs push mid. E. Gwen is in. They're like almost instantly dead, huh? E. Oh, Gwen's in between the turret. I will land an E. Just give me a second. Nice. QW. So much damage. Udyr's pushing top. What the? Q. This ARAM has turned into something sour here. Back in. Q. <laughs> e, Q. <laughs> oh. Zara's throwing skill shots at me is crazy, no? Dude, we lost the top inhib. Can we please get a turret, please? No? Understandable. I'm going back to my camps. Losing top turret is my team's issue. That's always going to be the soul lanes with TP. We win. We win this hard as fuck, actually. No. 
I really don't want to spend my ulti with the dragon coming up. So perhaps I could flash Q them there, but it's just not worth. I'm gonna get blue buff. I'm running out of mana. Being in the jungle and getting the blue buff will give me some mana. Go ahead, just die under turret again. Go ahead. Welp, am I going to contest them for this dragon all by myself? Let's throw some ease and see what happens. Just know if we die, we lose camps and we potentially lose Baron. So let's play it pretty lax right here. Build up my passive on the camp. Use that sweeper, naturally. Naturally, everything's warded. They're already done with the dragon? Dude. Q, W. Should be dead. Man, there we go. <laughs> my man Scuttle. Get back here, you big blue dumbass. Maybe I can get mid turret? No, I shouldn't do that. We should just do our farm. It's such a shame. You don't have your W, E. Q, this my auto. W. Auto, Q. Take damage, man. Yona's in onto nothing right here. Careful, careful. Nothing good is happening here. Okay. My bad. I didn't know Gwyn was the best champion in the game. You have to understand, this has been going pretty bad. And then they're all just dead. Let's Baron. Their Viego's coming up, but like, it's fine. Do mid turret into the Baron. My smite should be up by the time this bad boy's dead. Dude, what is Gwyn? How did that work out? I know she heals, but like, dude. E. Q. W. Smite. Probably ulties over the wall. Oh, he just walks into him. Take this. I'm not putting him to sleep. Let's see. How much show the Banshees, Val? Let's just turn into a weird game. We have it? Okay, we're in business. We got the Baron. We got the item. Let's reset and then push with our team. Just group up and fight. It's almost as simple as that. Banshees, Val, Amp Tome. I'll even get a control ward. Banshees, Val giving us more magic resist. Probably just turn this into Zonias, honestly. Magic resist, AP, and a spell shield. Now we can tank quite a bit. So with the Baron buff, these guys are split pushing, so I'll just stay grouped up with my bot lane here. And then throw some ease. Because if I'm farming my camps right now, these guys would be outnumbered mid, and that's no good. Okay. Nice. Lilius Aram is not bad either, as you can see. Take this. Yeah, let's give everyone red buff. Since the minion wave's done there, then our job is done. Still waiting for Gwen and Yon to get a split push going. Now that Gwen is pretty pushed up too, it'd be nice to give them some vision. Even if I'm standing still there mid, it's not super useful. When gonna be collapsed on, but we'll see. Oh! Come on, just hit that turret, man. Come on, do that thing you do, Gwen. There's one. Okay. Q. Sorty, sorty. Yeah, you're not gonna deal any damage. To the mid lane. Let's hit that turret. Well, I ate one Zerath You can see why I bought Magic Resist. This will just reset for Udyr. 
too low to do anything mid. A single cloth armor. Your dear buzz off. He hasn't his, his empowered thing, so I can't just ulti. Smite. W. If I land the E, he's screwed. Not too dear for you. I feel like everywhere is permanently warded. What's the deal? You guys have two side stones? Like, what's going on? Well, that was our Baron push with the dragon coming up. Just like last time, I'll like lightly contest this. But just know, we do not have to die for this Baron. What we're really interested in is a fight. Might. Just a matter of time, I think. Once the next Baron, around the time that the next Baron comes up, the Gwen's gonna be so strong. So we get that dragon uncontested. Let's clean up our camps, which we'll do super fast now. The camp is dead. Already time for the Raptor camp. Already the camp is dead. Lily's clear speed is so normal. Can I attack anything after this clear? No. Is the enemy gonna attack? Probably not. So let's reset, get that Seeker's Arm Guard control ward. We'll be in a good spot. The Seekers will allow us to play really aggressive with our flash too. Seekers, two control wards to the top side. Seekers allows us to go um, untargetable, so we can flash Q, ulti, and then not get hit. That is pretty beast. And then the control ward will help us deny vision around this Baron so that we can get a pick and generally make it hard for the enemy to play. Diego's bot side, so now would be the time to collapse on this Udyr. I wish Yon was laning rather than going through the jungle. And it's going to be hard now. E. He has his empowered, so we can't just put him to sleep. Nice, my spell shield. Q. W. Nice. E. Q. It's gonna be hard. We kinda one-shot him. His build kinda sucks, eh? Riftmaker, Bork, Holebreaker, Monomune. Didn't know it was like that. They end up killing Gwen. So let's push mid with my bot lane. They'd be outnumbered if I wasn't here. Okay. It was an easy fight. Q. W. He's fine. He's fine. Q. E. She moving on in. Q. W. Is fine. It's still fine. Q. Ulti. <laughs> You're not getting away, you know that? Why is she so fast? Maybe she was going to get away. To the Baron, boys. Surprised I had to use my, uh... What is this? Seekers. I said it was okay the entire time. That Cassante was actually wailing on me. I'm not used to him dealing damage. I guess I should be the one to tank. Yon has DPS. So I group up with my team, the enemy totally flubs the fight, and then as a reward, I'm gonna try to get this Baron. They're so saving that last shot for Baron. Or not. Smite. Job's done. Let's reset. Nice, we got the whole Zonias. So now we have that stasis active reset. Whenever you use the Seekers and you buy the Zonias, well, you can use that Zonias again. And then with the Zonias itself, it has a pretty long cooldown. Let's do this red buff. Dang, it might give me level 18. I'm level 17 right now. We're so strong. Who knew? Pathetic. Amal Malmordius Viego. That won't work. Only level 15. Alright, let's get out there. Rest in peace. I told you it wouldn't work. 
My team won the fight without me, man. I hate this on Lily. You get so fed and sometimes you just don't get a team fight. My team's winning too hard. Push, push, push. You want to queue the minions to maintain the passive. Push, push, push. But what about the dragon? What about the top end hip, huh? Have you ever pushed a lane, Bob? Be honest. Take that. Now we can go to dragon. Get the super minions rolling. But, but I watched a skill cap guide that said, always do the dragon when it, when it spawns. Yeah, it's that simple, man. You got it. Always do the dragon when it spawns. You got it. But Dr. Dre said, let's push bot lane, boys. Now, I should follow the play here, but I, I also, it's just better to push bot, but I should also follow the play. Because Lord knows Gwyn's just going to get in there. The man of all time. No team fight for me. No, my team wins without me. Flash Q ulti. You're dead, Buster. WQ. I can't even kill that guy. Gwyn takes that one too. Uh. Push, push, push. It's Baron up. Baron buff both of these waves. Didn't even have to use my Zonias. Ay, ay, ay. Q. Final score 10 1 and 7. The Andre's dealing 4,000. Suffering from success. My team's winning too hard. Alrighty, Bob. Hope that showed you a little bit of how to play Lilia. Through thick and thin. Through inting and not. Through a personal mechanical skill issue and not. If I can get kills, you have no excuse. All right, that'll put us at Masters 193 LP. Final damage dealt. 2,000 or 28,000. You know, that's not too bad. I was really comparing myself against Gwyn. The world's strongest champion, apparently. But 2,800 is pretty good. 4,000 or 44,000 damage taken. With Conqueror healing a 700 and cut down dealing 600. Yep, the Lilia nerfs don't matter in the slightest, especially at lower elos. The healing nerf and then the damage to camp nerf just doesn't matter. <laughs> it just strictly doesn't. It like hit, hits a very specific even game state at higher elos. So, she's fine. But yeah, hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, click the join button to support the channel, get access to videos sooner, and click the link below to become a Bob today and get an OP.GG review, jungle tier list, and more. Alrighty, see you in the next game. Welcome to game two. I forgot to mention the red smite. Like, I know blue smite's super popular on Lilia. It's simple, red smite. Cue them, they're slowed. That's overpowered. Five champions are slowed and you've dealt more damage? That's crazy. A little bit of movement speed through bushes. Not as cool. Not as interesting. So. And also it's just more team fight power. Like blue smite is more like assassins. They show up and then they flank and then they get in position. Like all of that. Lilia don't need that. Also you have one quadrillion movement speed while clearing anyways in the late game. Alright, we're against J4 this time. Their team comp's a bit more deadly. And that's a Gwyn top lane, but that's not the same Gwyn top lane. So lucky for me, I don't have to go against the Beast Unleashed. We'll be doing that same jungle path. This time, Jarvan ganks quite a bit more. He has Ignite. Alright. Alright, that's a normal guy right there. So long that I flash his EQ, I should be safe. But right, Jarvan likes to gank and then could also look to invade me. If he has an ignite, that's kind of a dead giveaway they'd be looking for something like that. Normal players don't run ignite on J4, that's what I'm saying. So you can expect not normal plays from this guy. To our blue side, two points into the queue. Now careful over here, that's where J4 would be. Scoping out. 
So put a ward down. No noobs. Amazing. J4's bot, I see, with a blue buff and level 3. So that means that he's done all of his blue side camps. And his red side camps will be up. Now, I'm not going to skip my camps to go there. Why? Well, I need my camps respawning, man. It also costs you time. And the same time that I could take one of his camps, I can probably take two of mine. Nice, he takes a turret shot. I'm in business. So we'll maintain our Alistar's top. Well, so much for counter-invading, huh? Let's give him some space here. There's a ward right there. Come on in the river, I dare you guys. Let's have fun. Yeah, let's just have fun here. Q. Auto. Health potion. Is fine, is fine. Auto? Onto Alistar. E. Q. Auto W. Noob down. Auto. <laughs> Auto. Flash. Q. Auto. Die, die, die. Okay. <laughs> Because I am but so brave, the level 2 Alistar, as if it was in a King Sticks video where he's playing in unranked, walks into me and fucking dies. I do know, though, that most players would just walk away from that Alistar for some reason. It's a champion, run! No, man, I'm level 4, I'm full HP, it's time to party. Alrighty. Easiest win of my life on that play. And now we'll clean up this bot side camps and head on to the top side. This time we'll have an easy sequence for those void grubs. So that's what I'll be playing for. You can probably get level 6 super quick in this game. For that reason too. Okay, okay. A Q won't be killing Shin. Level 3 Jarvan with Ignite. Oh so aggressive. W. You can buffer the recall off the W. Alrighty, to the top side, Wolf's Gromp and Void Grubs. That's what we're looking for. Faded Ashes, Amtome, Ruby, even a Control Ward, and off we go. Right to those Wolves. They're actually probably faster this way. So we get that Faded Ashes, and then an Amtome and a Ruby Crystal on turn one is crazy. It's just simply more stats than we're supposed to have. So we can overplay things a little bit if we happen to get into a fight. Still on the main course here though. Camps first. Can't skip these. If I get really juiced then I can get level 6 pretty quickly here. And then make the enemy pay forever having ganked bot. Be like level 6 to Jarvan's level 4 or his level 5. Wood grubs in 16 seconds. We'll be there right on time. Go ahead and move this up. You're going for a top gank. Are you out of your mind? I'm just wondering. Let's not even give him the hint that we're here. E, auto, Q. Yeah, he better back off. His Gwen's like, what? What are we doing? Q. Now Gwen has ulti. Care. W. Q. E. Miss me. Auto Q. Auto. Run! It's Gwyn! Ugh. If I could have got my Q off, I was in business. Damn, Quinn got that much distance? Lame champ. There's 70 dashes. Yeah, clean him up. She has no W. Haunting guys and right back to those void grubs. That's what I came for, damn it. <laughs> It's a one for two, so it's a win at the end of the day. That's also Gwen's ulti, and a lot of Jarvan's time spent. Deal. Deal. Now on turn two and a half here, not exactly turn three, it's time to play for these objectives. So that's what we'll be doing. Void Grubs first. Especially where we're not six and we don't have a balling prior. No need for dragon. Smite, W. Q. Use that first smite since I don't think we'll be contested. And I can get, use my second smite on these, just speeding up the whole process. Plump them together and get all that AoE damage. And it's just a matter of time. I think that one will burn, right? Yeah, nice, nice. Alistar, what's wrong? Your level 2 walking top didn't work out. And then right back to my camps. I have ulti, but it's not like I have to do anything with it. I know that's another mistake that a lot of players make is 
like they would skip camps here to use the ulti. Me personally, I'll let a play happen and then I'll go get involved and use the ult. I'm not gonna skip the camps to go walk at someone and hopefully they random die. That's not how it's done. Unless you're a dumbass. Well, this part's pretty boring, but the game is sealed from here. The enemy is half trolling. I'm getting my farm. I'm going to get level 7 and my item completed. On the next turn, if we fight on the next turn, we guarantee win. If we fight on this turn, well, they still kind of have a chance. Once I complete that item, it's over. You guys are screwed. Enjoy. The fruits of your walking around and, quote, ganking. Couldn't be me. so frustrating to do that too as a jungler like J4. You go for a gank, it's successful, you're like, nice, I'm owning. And then someone like Lily is just farming and they're like turbo winning. They're turbo winning because they ramp up too quickly. The J4 and Alistar haven't shown for a while too, so I need to be cautious on the top side. Haven't reset yet. Warding Trinket right there. I'm gonna need to land the E, I think. So, use that E. Nice. Not gonna put her to sleep, though. That'd be a bit too much. Let's take that CS and reset, remember? Remember? That's right, our Leandris, and then we go fight. You got it. Leandris, Amptome, Sweeper to the bot side. Now it's time to play around Dragon. We are so ultra omega juiced. Nine minutes in, Leandri's Amptome, level eight. All, like, we're exactly level eight too. We have our item spike. It's time to go fight. No farming for me. Nice. There's fights happening everywhere. Let's go ahead and use our E. So we can get some movement speed. And then I want to find J4 in his jungle. I beat this guy up. Sweeper. Really? He's not here? Hello. A little bit of EQW. Shout out to Corvus. And now we'll just rinse whatever camps are here. If anyone comes to fight me, then I beat them up. Easily. So with my lead, we move up the map and then present the enemy the opportunity. We ask them, do you want to fight? And they'll be like, yeah, I want to fight. I hate you. You suck. And then just cue them a thousand times and they'll die. Well, that's both of his camps. I don't think uh, we're going to be contested. EQ ulti. Now, this guy deals damage, so careful. Dodge that. W. Q auto. Noob down. Brutalize your longsword. You know, it doesn't hurt to kite her out. And then after this dragon, the Void Grubs are up, so we're not going to go back to farm just yet. We're stronger, we're on our power spike. Focus up, Bob, it's simple. You just fight when you're strong. How many times do I have to tell you? Damn! You just don't pay attention! It's been how many years in your fucking iron? God! End fast? I guess they're just, I mean, like I said, they're half trolling. Nothing in the gameplay to adjust, even when they're half trolling. The Void Grubs will help us push though, that's for sure. And then that Rift Tail will be coming up soon enough, honestly. Because Lord knows the enemy doesn't FF games like this for some reason. For some cosmological reason in North American low master gameplay, 3000 LP above your favorite jungle YouTuber, the enemy doesn't FF games like this. I'm gonna reset, spend my gold, and then probably just full clear into the Rift Herald. Although we could push up and fight and whatnot, I don't have to, so I won't be doing that. Sork pin boots, um, and then I guess a ruby crystal and a dark seal. The Sork pin boots, because we're winning too hard. Defensive boost won't matter in that case. And to the bot side. End fast, please. IDK, what happened today? Two junglers are blind or mindless. IDK.
Yeah, junglers suck. Who's with me? Level 9, so we got our Q maxed. I'm very strong. That thing will burn, I bet. From 500. Yeah, burned completely. I didn't even have to Q. And that's after the damage nerf to the camps. 500, rest in peace, wolf. To the next camp. Smiting these since there's no objectives up. The sooner we're done with these, the sooner we're in position. My team's resetting. Guys, just push. I have no clue where your resources are at, but hit that turret. I'll smack it up a little bit. I got six void grubs for a reason. Already to the Rift Herald. Six Void Grubs in a Rift Herald. You'd hope that we'd be able to push this bad boy. A little bit of QW. We don't have a lot of DPS, so... Way better if our allies help us on Rift Herald. So much faster. I'll just group up and push with Jin. Jin's the ADC. He's got the ranged autos. That's our guy. Q E. It's fine. It's so fine. He's dealing no damage. I'll be taking that. A little bit of E. Q flash. Burn. 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 Nice. Flashing the Alistar headbutt pulled there. Just drop that Rift Herald and drive it in. I got my learner's permit just yesterday, so hopefully I don't crash this thing. Whoopsie daisy. Don't worry, I got insurance. Alrighty, round two. We're getting flanked by Kiana. It's fine. She has a TM at. Push, push, push. Oh, they FF. Final score is 6 1 and 1. Leandre stealing 600. Well, what can I say? What can I say? I killed the Alistar in the river, and that really tilted him. Make sure to copy that and apply it to your own gameplay. Who's with me? I'll put us at Masters. 214 LP. Final damage dealt. 6,000 with damage taken. 17,000. That's quite a bit of damage taken, honestly, for that 15-minute game. Alrighty, Bob GG. I'll see you in the next one.